If you watch the trailer for this movie, you can tell that the greatest beer run ever looks like it's gonna have some laughs and be a promising good time. But the question is, is that really all there is to this movie? It didn't really look like this movie got a whole lot of attention. So me talking about it like three days late is probably not gonna stand out the most, but I really don't care because, well, for one, I had a busy weekend and for two, I really just wanna talk about this movie. So let's do that. So the greatest beer run ever is about this New Yorker by the name of Chicky Donahue. He's got some friends fighting in Vietnam and he decides, well, actually, I'll just let him speak for himself. I'm going to Vietnam and I'm bringing a beer! Yeah! Now, right out the gate, I think this is one of those movies where the success of its lead actor is pretty much pivotal to the success of the film as a whole. That being the case, the greatest beer run ever definitely has an advantage with Zac Efron. In my personal opinion, I feel like Zac Efron has kind of proven himself to be a talented actor a few times now, despite some, you know, hiccups. Looking at you, Firestarter. And he continues to prove that he has talent in the greatest beer run ever. And I think in this case, the thing that stands out to me the most is his shift in character or rather his character's shift in attitude. That's probably a better way of putting it. Essentially, his character's personality and attitude parallel the tone of the film. Or maybe you could flip that around and say that the film's tone parallels his character's attitude. Either way, the tone of the film, the attitude of the character, they parallel each other. At the start of the movie, Chicky Donahue is a very lighthearted person. He's a bit of a jokester. He lives a very carefree life and he's got a very noble borderline naive mindset, a mindset that is also very one-sided. And of course, the same thing can be said for the tone of the film. But later on in the movie, I won't go into detail here, but Chicky goes through a change or two, and again, the movie reflects the character. My point here is that Zac Efron is the driving force of this film, I feel like, and that being the case, he needed to have range in this movie, in this role, and I think he nailed it. And aside from the range that Zac Efron brings to his role, the greatest Beer Run Ever is simply a good movie. Now, I honestly went into this movie expecting a full-on comedy through and through. Hindsight 2020, I don't really know why, because every comedy has a serious moment. And on top of that, this is based on a true story, furthermore being about the Vietnam War. What this movie does is it focuses on multiple points of view and opinions that people had and still have about the Vietnam War. It is important, political or not, for someone to look at all different sides of an argument, a discussion, whatever ever before making a decision and taking a stand on it. And this movie does that. Chicky Donahue does that in this film. And between this movie showing different sides of an argument and also it providing reasons for each side of the argument really just made for heavier scenes. And that ultimately added to the experience of me watching the movie. With all that being said about the seriousness of this film, The Greatest Beer Run Ever is still primarily a comedy. And I gotta say, it's pretty darn good at it. Zac Efron, Bill Murray, and a few of the other cast members all did pretty fantastic with their comedic bits. Not everyone in the cast was cracking jokes. However, they were funny being serious in comedic situations, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense. I'll just go with it. And on top of that, going back to the serious moments, there are serious moments in the beginning of the film. It's not like this movie is split down the middle from being comedic to serious. It's not like that. There are little serious bits in the beginning of the film, which is primarily comedic. And then once things turn around, there are still comedic bits in the primarily serious ending of the film. And ultimately, I think it was all balanced out pretty well. So yeah, The Greatest Beer Run Ever is primarily a comedy and it does great. It provides you with a good time and lots of laughs, but it also has a necessary amount of emotion and weight to it, which I thought was very satisfying and important. There's great writing and a great cast, Zac Efron specifically. He brought some solid range to the role. And one last note, I have to say I love the look of this movie. It obviously has that 1960s atmosphere, which I thought looked great, especially in the New York scenes. And in the direction, the set pieces and the color grading even, it all just meshed very well. So visually this film stuck out to me and all in all, it's simply a good movie. If you like movies that are based on a true story, in this case about a guy doing a beer run from New York to Vietnam, which is just insane, but awesome at the same time. This could be a movie for you. I know I liked it. I'm probably gonna rewatch it. So in the best New York accent I can pull off, I say the greatest beer run ever is a good movie and I give it a high rewatch probability. 
That was probably a terrible accent. I'm not one guy that loves to do accents, but just absolutely sucks at them. So there you have it. But that does remind me, if you do like accents, specifically a New York accent, you're probably going to get another kick out of this movie and probably chuckle at just about every line that there is. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. Those are my thoughts on the greatest beer run ever. But now it's your turn. Let me know your thoughts on the greatest beer run ever in the comments below. And while you're scrolling, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching. And most, most importantly, have a great day.